Got another exam question here on the NMR topic. So we're up to number 16 now. There's a question there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the question's focusing on compound D. We know it's a carbonyl and we're told that it reacts with Tollens reagent to form a silver mirror. So that means D is an aldehyde. So in terms of functional group, it's going to have this C double bond O with the H also attached to the carbon. So looking at the carbon-13 NMR spectrum, we've got four signals. So that means there are four carbon environments in the molecule. Now it's C5, so there must be a pair of equivalent um, carbons in this molecule. Otherwise, we would have had five peaks. Okay, so what I thought I'd do for the purpose of the video, rather than just say this is the answer, we'll go through the possible options given that molecular formula and we'll rule some out and obviously rule the right one in. Okay, so if it's got five carbons and the ten hydrogens and the oxygen, um, it could be pentanal, so there's pentanal there. So if we just look at the structure of that, it's got one, two, three, four, five carbon environments. So they're all different. So this would have five signals, so it's not this one. So if we move on to this one now, so all I've done is taken a carbon off and put it on as a branch, as a methyl group. So this is 2-methylbutanol now. So in terms of carbon environments, one, two, three, four, five. They're all different, so we've still got five environments. We get five peaks in the carbon-13 NMR, so it's not this one either. So what if we put the methyl group on carbon number three now? So this is three methyl butanol. We've got one, two, three. They're equivalent now. So we've got four carbon environments. We get four peaks. So this is the answer. 